Everybody knows this guy. He's famous for balling, jamming, and making one of the most recognizable shoes of all time. And today, I'm gonna talk about how people are harvesting his body parts to sell on the black market. Not only did the recent release of Space Jam 2 reignite the world's passion for NBA superstars playing basketball with 1930s cartoon animals as well as their love for bilfs, but it also spawned a ton of toys like any good kids movie would. Of course, you've got your Funko Pops and your weird LeBron James goo-filled, jelly-filled voodoo doll things, but most importantly, you've got this. At first glance, there isn't much special about him, he's just an action figure with a few accessories like any other. But if you examine this LeBron closer, you'll notice that his entire body is sticking out of the package for maximum LeBron interactive action. This means that not only can you feel up Mr. LeBron to your heart's content, what is wrong with you, but you can take his goddamn head. That's right, you can take his little plastic head off of his confined toy body. This joke started on TikTok as all forms of devil worship do. I honestly can't even figure out which one is the original TikTok, but there's tons of videos of people people stealing LeBron's head for themselves or just showing sightings of headless LeBrons at their local stores. Everybody get up, it's time to slam now. We got a real jam going down. Welcome to the Space Jam. I'm sorry, little one. Somebody took the LeBron heads. Somebody took the LeBron heads. Somebody took the LeBron heads. Speaking of, the other day I was at my very own local Target and me and my friends were browsing the toy section like any group of self-respecting young adults would. My girlfriend started to tell me about the headless LeBrons and how people were stealing the heads and leaving the headless figures on store shelves. And when she was done telling us, we looked down and on the shelf in front of us, there was a headless LeBron in the flesh. We decided to take a picture to document the moment. This is what led me to search more about this and to make this video, even though I know basically nothing about Space Jam, Space Jam 2, Looney Tunes, the NBA, or really even basketball as a sport, come to think of it. Stores apparently even started to lock up the LeBron toys because of the cranial theft, but this only saved a select few LeBrons from their headless fate. Now, you might be wondering, what happened to the stolen LeBron heads? Some people kept them as trophies and posted pictures of them online, while others looked at the severed LeBron heads and saw dollar signs in their eyes. Hundreds of listings popped up on all kinds of shopping sites, some priced to move while others were priced like the hot commodity they truly were. It's honestly kind of morbid that people are harvesting a man's body parts to sell online for money. Okay guys, I have a question for you. Does a receding hairline add or subtract value from a severed LeBron James head? If you answered yes, you're right. Yes, people started to purposefully wear away some of the LeBron hair in strategic locations to make it look like he was balding, and then they upcharged for his new receding hairline. I filtered the recently sold listings on eBay, and I saw a bunch of LeBron heads that sold for thousands of dollars. Honestly, these scare me a bit less than the ones that sold for 40 or $50, because obviously nobody's going to fulfill a $15,000 payment for a chunk of plastic. The ones that sold for like 40 or $50 scare me a lot more because people probably actually paid for those, and that's a little sad. I mean, like, $40 is not really worth it for a head that came off a $20 action figure, but go off. People also started to get creative with their listings. I saw somebody trying to sell a replacement body to go with all the LeBron James heads, and somebody actually bought it. Hopefully the head they have enjoys its brand new body. The highest that I saw any single LeBron head sell for was $15,011. This was after a heated bidding war with 39 total bids. I also saw this LeBron James Space Jam plush head that sold for just under $15,000, which isn't part of any sort of meme or joke, so I'm really worried some poor fella spent enough to buy a car on a plush of an NBA player's head. This whole scandal didn't stop with LeBron James, however. After this, people realized that plenty of toys were packaged in ways that let you take their heads or even other body parts from them. One NBA superstar was enough to kickstart a huge wave of plastic toy body part trafficking, and now nobody is safe. This is headless LeBron James. Take a good look at him. Uh, he cost me $20 at Target, and I think that's a pretty good deal. So I'm going to unbox the good old rest of the LeBron body here. Uh, if everyone's stealing the heads, the body must have some kind of hype. I wanted to get a head uh, myself. I wanted to legally obtain one. I wanted to buy a figure with a head, but this is the only one left to target, so I settled for him. So let's take a look at him. All right, so here I am on the phone uh, to get a closer look at LeBron. So there's this little nub right there. Uh, there's no more head. Uh, he's got a few accessories included. He's got a basketball. Uh, he has a, a bomb for some reason, and he's got this giant hammer 
and whatever this is. Does this hold the stuff? That might hold the stuff. So here, let me grab a trusty scissors, trusty scissors, and uh, let's cut them open. So it looks like not only is the head missing, but it looks like there was supposed to be a sticker or like a promo thing there that pointed at him. You know, like the try me, but um, uh, my, my LeBron seems to be missing that, so uh, we'll just have to deal with what this guy has here. Okay, so first, for thoroughness sake, let's, let's remove this. This is hard to film and cut at the same time. I can't cut through the promo. Okay, there he is in all his glory. So he's got some of these rubber bands going on, so we'll go ahead and remove those. Okay. So does that free? No, he's got he's got restraints on his arms too. That's kinky. Okay, now that LeBron is free, we can examine him closer. Uh, I'd like to say he's pretty well built, but I have no idea what the standards uh, are for toys nowadays. Uh, um, so LeBron has some speaking action if you press his manly chest right here. You want to play me in basketball? You want to play me in basketball? Let's go, LeBron. Yes, I'd love to play you. Uh, what else? What other fun things does he say? <laughs> I love the dribbling noises that just come out of the speaker in his lower back. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about! <laughs> yeah! That's what I'm talking about! Oh, that- Yo! He just made a goal. Or a touchdown or something. So let's take- let's take a look at some of his accessories. So it's got this thing in here. This is restrained by like a little rubber band. Here, let me free those. Okay, let's just try to use force for this one. All right, <laughs> that worked out uh, enough. Let's use force on the other side. Okay, so those are his little wiggly arm things. Okay, so how do those go on Mr. LeBron? Let's go up. What does it? Okay, okay it doesn't, oh wait, no, he's probably supposed to wear this, this thing uh, right here on his back. Oh yeah, that's got like holes there, okay. Let's get that next time. Okay, there is the what is this? Let's just look at the back. That's the AMCE blocker. Excellent, excellent news. Okay, so that goes, does that go in him right? That goes in there. Oh, oh, I just crushed his chesticles. Okay, uh, so that's that thing. And then this goes in there. So there's that. <laughs> he still doesn't have a head. And let's get Okay, what should we get next? Let's get the hammer next. All right, here is this little basketball hammer. See that? Okay, so that, does that just go in this hand? I think that's what it does. Okay, yeah, he holds that in that hand. So he's got, he's got his basketball hammer going on right there. Look at that dump truck ass he's got going on, that huge dumpy. Okay, so here is the basketball. Look at that thing right there. My hand looks huge. Look at that. This thing's so small in my giant hand. Okay, we're finally done with the packaging. We don't need to worry about that anymore. So here are his little balls. He's got a basketball and a bomb basketball. And I assume those just go like in his thing here. Dude, I don't know how to film toy videos. My hand is like in the way of every shot. Okay, he's holding that now. Now let's get him some basketball action going on. Oh shit. And there he is, look at that. So this is what $20 gets you. Uh, and I'm gonna include the fact that he has no head in that because everyone's stealing the head. So if your child wants this toy, this is what they're gonna get. And then they can boom, boom. And can he like launch these? I don't think he can even launch these. So I guess he just holds them. Yeah, he can't even launch these. Dude, why are toys so lame nowadays? And my, back in when I was a kid, you could have like, he would have launched them. You would have like pressed a button, he would have went boom. Although the lack of head is still kind of sad. He's got, he's got his Adam's apple though. At least, they, at least nobody can take that away from him. Okay, hold on. I have an idea. <laughs> there we go. Here's LeBron. All right, look at that. Doesn't he look so much better? Look at that. If I were to give this toy a score, I would give him a four out of 10. Uh, although with this face, maybe more like a six, but like he just doesn't do much. He's too expensive. This guy costs $20. And uh, with that, let's just, 
Goodbye, LeBron. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like it and subscribe and all that good stuff. I'm really glad to be back to making videos and I have a lot more stuff in store and I can't wait for you guys to see it. And so I will see you next time.